Jamie Cantoni is on a mission. This white cloth, a tick magnet. It's a female deer tick. Cantoni is a research assistant at the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station. Last year, her team swept 40 locations across the state for ticks, collecting more than 2,500 to be studied. It's all a part of a brand new CDC funded tick surveillance program. I think the CDC's concern is that we're just they're seeing an increase in the number of reported tick-borne disease cases. The CDC estimates nearly 300,000 people get Lyme disease each year. This map shows many cases are isolated in New England. The surveillance effort allowed the team to get a better idea of what ticks are in the state how many and what percentage are infected. You need to be vigilant about protecting yourself from the exposure to ticks. They learned about half of all deer ticks collected were infected with Lyme disease. The team also found a new kind of tick, the Asian longhorn tick. It's known to transmit a serious disease in Asia, though no cases have been found in the U.S. Again, with climate change, if populations start to expand, that there is more likelihood that there we could see infections. Warmer weather earlier in the year is expanding the time period when people are usually at risk for tick-borne diseases. The team says it is nothing to fear. Instead, they hope the data will help inform. We can be there with our finger on the pulse and document that change. We can maybe see some responses to it.